and restrict a PDF document to a list of email addresses. So let's open All About PDF. All right. And then we're going to go to the DRM function and we're going to select our PDF. And I'm going to place the results in this output folder right here. So the next thing we want to do is, and it's very important, is to make sure this um, cloud validation checkbox is checked. Okay, and then we get prompted that we should provide a password for our PDF file, our owner password. Uh, this owner password basically means only the person that knows the password can edit the file afterwards. So let's put a password there. I'm going to add some email addresses so only these people can access this document. All right, so these three people can access this file. And then I'm going to apply my settings. Great. So let's see how that's applied. Okay, so if we try to open that file, if we put in an email address that wasn't in our list of approved email addresses, we're going to get an error saying we're not allowed to view the document. So let's try that again. This time we're going to provide a valid email address. All right, as you can see, we are now able to view the document. What happens if I then want to remove Steve from being able to access the document? Because, you know, he's retired and all that. So I can go back into All About PDF, go back into the DRM function, and then I can select my PDF file, my invoice. And it's going to prompt me for that owner password that I provided earlier. So one, two, three, four, five, super secure password there. And you can see my settings are back. I can go into my allowed list and I can remove Steve. I also notice Tony is wrong, so I'll remove Tony as well. So we're only going to leave Natasha. And we're going to apply the settings. Okay. So now when we open the PDF e file, once again, it's going to prompt us for our password. And I'm going to try Steve. But nope, Steve no longer has access to this document. Only Natasha has.